So today I'm talking iPhone 13 Pro, just got it in. Let's open it up and try it out. So I'm pretty excited about this. Now I wouldn't consider myself a pro, but I use an iPhone 11 Pro right now and I do a lot of video as far as YouTube, social media, things of that nature with it. So this is what I would consider maybe more of an amateur review of the iPhone 13 Pro, but nonetheless, let's open this box and get started. Nice looking phone, nice looking screen. You know, your volume buttons, your power button and everything. But you know, obviously this is the big one for me is the camera. The only reason I upgrade from the 11 Pro to this is because the camera. Uh, the cinematic mode I'm interested in trying out because we do a lot of video and of course we could always get better. We're very much amateurs, but we're definitely looking forward to getting better at that. So I'm gonna get busy. I'm putting the SIM card in and getting this up and going. So my new phone is all set up, ready to go. I'm actually filming on it now instead of the 11 Pro. That's easy setup, just like any of the other ones. Just follow all the steps, hit next, hit next, and then you're done. Okay, so it took about 20 some minutes to transfer all my apps and information over. Uh, it was really, really simple. So now it's time to put this new camera to the test and go out and shoot some different things to see how it looks. So let's do it. So let's start right here at the front porch to begin with. We have this flag hanging off our porch. We have this kind of nice pretty backdrop there with the fence and the house and the trees and the sky. This is in 4K24. Let's switch it to cinematic. Well, obviously now there is a dramatic difference between the two. So that is a really cool shot. And I can touch here on the right side of the screen, bring the trees and fence into focus. And I can touch back on the flag and bring it into focus. So really cool. You can change your depth of field even after you video from what I understand. We'll try that after a while, but this is a really cool feature. So we're going to go try and uh, see if we can't get some humans involved in this. We are inside. So we have this inside lighting and everything going on in the boys room. This is your normal 4K24 video and I'm going to switch it over to cinematic. So now we're over in cinematic mode and i'm going to get josiah here in front to look around at his brother and let's see if it automated automatically switched over to him and then josiah looked back at me and it automatically did that i didn't touch anything so now i want josiah to look around again at jonan in the back and i'm going to touch right on josiah's face and it'll go back to him so it, my touch overrides it but as long as i don't touch it it does it on its own. So really nice feature. So we're gonna go outside and try some different things and nature shots and things like that and check that out. So we're at our local state park. It's really pretty lake, sun's going down. So right here where we at, it's kind of a low light setting. These trees are definitely blocking the sun and it still looks good. So then I'm gonna switch over from 4K24 to cinematic. And now we're on cinematic, obviously, huge difference. And of course he is the focus, but I'm gonna actually um, touch to the left over here, like on that tree line. And now that comes into focus. It's really pretty. I really like this feature, but anyway, you can get really creative with this. And um, as long as he's, you know, well, no matter what he does, he can move, move to the right and keep moving to the right. You're right, I should say, then to the look back to the left. It's going to remain locked in on him as long as he's the only shot, you know, human shot in there, I guess, unless I touch it otherwise. So this is a really cool shot. We just kind of practiced around it a little bit here and we're in cinematic mode here. You can see the sun set over there. And just to give you an idea, I mean, it's focused on him, but we're gonna put him out of focus. And man, that focuses in on that and it's just gorgeous. So definitely love this phone. It just makes things so easy. Kind of go back into that. There he is again, nice looking shot. 
So now on the cinematic mode, you can do a one times just regular zoom or you can do three times. That's the only options I can tell of right now. But this is on three in a low light setting with the sun behind him, obviously. And uh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm gonna bring him back into focus. And uh, even that is not really, you know, blurry or anything. It looks pretty good. So one thing I hadn't tried, and this is the last thing, was actually in the front facing camera which it's in cinematic mode now and so uh, this is low light setting which actually I think it still works pretty good and I just clicked on his face over here on the screen and you can see it come in to focus and then go back on me so really like this even in low light setting I think it does really good a lot better than my 11 Pro did and I don't I don't know I'm not familiar with 12s but from what I understand the lighting is one of the issues in the 12s that the 13 is better than but either way I believe that 13 Pro, if you are a videographer, if you're well, like us, we're amateurs, but we really enjoy doing it, this is definitely going to help us make and create some even cooler things than we have already. And uh, so even if you're just a social media person that really likes to create cool content, this is still something that would be really good to have. So that's my two cents worth. Hopefully this helped you and uh, let me know in the comments below. Either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.